Garlic cures the coronavirus. Scientists find a tree octopus. PLA tanks roll into Hong Kong. You know, one of the biggest problems in the world today is, is fake news. Uh, and we need a generation of people who know how to do research and how to find the truth. And that's why we run the Hong Kong Young Writers Awards in the way we do. We always give our young people a theme that's really a challenging research project. This year, we asked you to write about the famous Misty Mountains of China, the Huan Shan Range. Now, some of you write astonishingly well, despite being incredibly young. So, Irish Choi, uh, you enter every year and we always wait to see what you're going to do next. Uh, Tegan Young, you're only six, but you write so beautifully. There are so many others I can mention uh, by name, but we're going to get to some names uh, in a little while. The bad news, we received more than a thousand entries, but we only have 20 prizes roughly to give out. But the good news is that um, even if you don't win one of the big titles, uh, you might appear in our printed anthology or and or on our website. So you know you're a great writer, you know who I'm talking about. And now to the prizes. First we start with cover art. The judges love the cover art this year and pick 10 great pieces for the shortlist. Uh, no names, no bias, we just pick them by the quality of the art. But then, when we were actually writing to the uh, schools, we found that seven out of the 10 came from a single school. Uh, this sometimes happens in this competition. Uh, you get one inspiring teacher or one uh, very talented class and uh, they, they, they send in a group of entries which are of really high caliber. So here are the short listies for cover art. From Poland Cook Choi Kai Yao School, we have Suki Chan. From ESF Kennedy School, we have Ryan Tsai. From the Independent Schools Foundation Academy, we have Ethan Liu. And from Regents Primary School of Shenzhen, we have no less than seven fine entries. Well done, guys. They came from Wan Yu Chen, Yu Cheng Chen, Daryl Henderson Limin, Si Ran Luo, Sei Fei Luo, Zi Yi Song, and Yu Ke Wong. Well done, all of you. And the title goes to, is it going to be someone from Shenzhen Regent Primary School? In fact, the answer is yes. The title goes to Cover Artist of the Year, Si Ran Luo of Regents Primary School of Shenzhen. Well done. Si Ran, your work will be on the cover of our 2021 published collection. We're going to move now on to the Fiction Awards. For the most junior group, the younger primary school children, uh, we have seven children on the shortlist. Uh, they're aged between about four and seven. They are Jeffrey Chan of Canadian International School, Sienna Almeida, also of Canadian International School, Alexander Miller of French International School, Sam Yu Alvina Wu of HKUGA Primary School, Tung Shin Choi of St. Joseph's College, Yun Hei Shannon Tang of St. Stephen's College Preparatory School, and Chloe Zhao of Independent Schools Foundation Academy. And the title goes to Sienna Almeida of Canadian International School. Well done, Sienna. For the older grades of primary school children, years four, five, and six, we have 13 children shortlisted, mostly aged between seven and 10. Nga Kiao Ho of Diocesan Girls Junior School, also from the same school, Wing Q Angie Yearn. Then we have Annette Chan of Harrow International School in Hong Kong. Yurt Magdalene Yu of Kao Yan School. Isabella Jung of Singapore International School. In fact, we have a few from Singapore International School. We also have Shun Emma Thang. We have Kai Yi Megan Lee. We have Yasmin Porishar. We have Sophia Lan Shi. And we have Yat Fung Evan Chan, all from Singapore International School. We also have Hao Long Lee of St. Joseph's College and Caitlin Cam of St. Stephen's College Preparatory School. And last but not least, Ching Kan Pan of Ying Hua Primary School. So, uh, who does the title go to? This year the title goes to 
Chun Emma Fang of Singapore International School. Well done, Emma. The youngest of the secondary school children are classified as fiction group three. That's forms one to three in the local system and seven to nine in the international system, aged about 10 to 13. And the shortlistees are Charlotte Zheng of Chinese International School, Sarah Liu also of Chinese International School, ZQ Rella Chan of Diocesan Girls, and Bethany Zheng also of Diocesan Girls, Jana Kwok from Diocesan also on that list, Vijay Sethapan Narayanan of ESF Island School, you're on the list, as is Megan Ng of ESF West Island School. There's Wing Sun Valerie Chan of HKUGA College. Cecily Chan Man Lee of Hong Kong Red Cross John F. Kennedy Center. Cherry Ng of Marymount Secondary School. Michelle May of Shanghai American School Pudong Campus. Yin Tung Andrea Leung of St. Mark's School. And Chloe Lee of St. Paul's Convent School. And the title goes to Jana Kwok of Diocesan Girls School. Well done, Jana. Now we come to Fiction Group 4. This is the slightly older secondary school group. Uh, forms 4 and 5 in the local system and 10 and 11 in the international system, aged roughly 14 to 16. Uh, some of these stories are amazing, really of, uh, of publishable quality already. There are 13 shortlistees in this list. They are Diana Tang of Carmel School, Elsa High School. William Robert Barlow Ching of Creative Secondary School. Sua Ryu of Dulwich College in Beijing. Si Hin Hoi of ESF Island School. And from the same school, we have Charlie Lam and Nicole Yuan. Then we have Gaya Three Ayuni of ESF West Island School. Yuhan Huang of German Swiss International School. Polia Ng of Good Hope School. Siu Lam Chu of Heap Yun School. Yu Hei Iris Choi of Heap Yun School. Alicia Lau of St. Mary's Canosian College. And Ting Ting Wong of St. Paul's Coeducational College. And the title goes to. Actually, it's a draw. Uh, this title goes uh, to. It's shared between two writers Yu Hei Iris Choi of Heap Yun School and Charlie Lau of ESF Island School. Well done both of you. Like the previous group, Fiction Group 5 are the professional grade authors. Reading their work is like reading a short story in a, in a book from a bookshop. Well done, guys. Uh, we have um, four people shortlisted here, uh, age between 16 and 18. They are Ashina Sundar of American International School, Trinity Rowe of ESF King George V School, Kevinda de Alvis of ESF South Island School, and Jasmine Wan of St. Paul's Convent School. And the title goes to Trinity Row of ESF King George V School. Well done, Trinity. Next, we have two prizes for students with different learning abilities. Uh, first, we have one clear winner for the under 13s category, and that is Isaac Chan of Hong Kong Red Cross John F. Kennedy Center. Well done, Isaac. For the older uh, children in this category, we have uh, shortlisted several authors. They are Leonardo de Groot of Hong Kong Red Cross John F. Kennedy Center, uh, and then four authors from Korean International School Springboard. They are Jonathan Ching, Jessica Lauta, Yantung Christi So, and Caden Y. And the title goes to Caden Y of Korean International School Springboard. Well done, Caden. Now we move on to the non-fiction part of the competition. Here's where the researchers look up the facts and present them in an interesting non-fiction way. Group one, the youngest writers at primary school age. They produced a short list of three. They are Chirkka Tiffany Yip of St. Paul's Coeducational College Primary School. Martin Annette Jung of St. Stephen's College Preparatory School. And Lok Hei Leung of Yaomate Catholic 
Primary School on Hoi Wang Road. And the title goes to Garting Annette Jern of St Stephen's College Preparatory School. Well done, Annette. Now we come to non-fiction group two, the older primary school group. We have five shortlistees. Van Megan So of HKUGA Primary School. Yu Nam Justin Liu, also of HKUGA Primary School. Chloe Jung of Kingston International School. Christian Jake Wong of St Paul's Coeducational College Primary School. And Chan Hong Brent Milton Yi of St Paul's Coeducational College Primary School. And the title goes to Yao Nam Justin Liu of HKUGA Primary School. Well done, Justin. Now we come to non-fiction group three, which is the younger secondary school section. We have four shortlistees in the non-fiction category. They are Sami Emily Fung of French International School, Emily Zhao of Hong Kong International School, Hyatt Chow of Immaculate Heart of Mary College, and Chi Yu Poon of St. Joseph's College. And the title goes to Chi Yu Poon of St. Joseph's College. Well done to you. Now we come to non-fiction group four. This is the mid-teens secondary school section. We have just two shortlisted candidates for this one. Shu Hua Ao of Immaculate Heart of Mary College and Natalie Ng of Mary Knoll Convent School secondary section. And the title goes to Shu Hua Ao of Immaculate Heart of Mary College. Nonfiction Group 5 has one clear winner with no shortlist, and that title goes to Rishi Shah of ESF King George V School. Well done, Rishi. Now we move on to the poetry section of the competition. Always fun to judge, some lyrical works, some funny works, and some which are both. Shortlisted in Poetry Group 1, the youngest group, we have four children. Angie Wong of ESF Quarry Bay School. Ning Sang Nansen Chang of Po Learn Cook Choi Kai Yao School. Him Chan of St Joseph's College. And Chi Wa Serez Ng of St Paul's Coeducational College Primary School. And the title goes to Chi Wa Serez Ng of St Paul's Co-Educational College Primary School. Well done, Ceres. Now we come to Poetry Group 2, which are the older primary school poets. We have six shortlisted children in this section. They are Michaela Emily Choi of Diocesan Girls Junior School, Christabel Yu of Diocesan Girls Junior School, Emma Hoy of ESF Quarry Bay School, Antonin David of Harrow International School, Hong Kong. Chan On Chan of St. Francis of Assisi English Primary School. Anna Petra Leung of Yamate Catholic Primary School, Hoi Wang Road. And the title goes to Emma Hoi of ESF Quarry Bay School. Well done, Emma. Poetry Group 3 has six shortlisted candidates. They are Annika Lee of ESF South Island School. Eric Chang of ESF West Island School. Pui So Hon of Harrow International School, Hong Kong. And from the same school, Alicia Yao. We have Ka Yun Dabi Chan of Marymount Secondary School. And Tuan Hang Luan Ma of St Paul's Coeducational College. And the title goes to Kri So Hon of Harrow International School, Hong Kong. Well done. So. Now we come to Poetry Group 4, which has seven candidates. They are D. Zion Chen of Creative Secondary School, A.D. Lam of ESF Island School, Man Chin Chen of Heap Yun School, Anushka Panda of Shanghai Singapore International School, Jun Shin Bowie of Singapore International School, Kayin Audrey Chow of St Paul's Coeducational College and Tiffany Tam of St Paul's Coeducational College. And the title here is a draw. The title is shared between Adi Lam of ESF Island School and Kayin Audrey Chow of St Paul's Coeducational College. 
Well done, Aidy and Audrey. Poetry Group 5 has four shortlisted candidates. We have Ishani Chowdhury of American International School, Cyrus Chan of ESF Shatin College, Lin Chen of International School of Beijing, Trinity Wing of Kinsang Chaekiang College International Section. And the title goes to Lin Chen of International School of Beijing. Well done, Lin. Poetry Group 6 is for children with different learning abilities. All the shortlisted candidates come from Korean International School Springboard. They are Yue Chen, Charlize Jung, Matea Choi, Damien Cho, Darren Leung, Fion Reiner. And the title goes to Fion Reiner. Well done, Fion. Poetry Group 7 are the older children in the Different Learning Abilities category. Uh, all the candidates are from Korean International School Springboard. They are Jordan Kwan, Adrian Lin, Adrienne Tang. And the title goes to Adrienne Tang. And now for the big one, the final. Uh, this is the moment where we name the Hong Kong Young Writer of the Year 2021. As you can see from the results above, it was a tricky one to judge. We had draws in several categories. We had some new schools entering. We had some old schools making big comeback efforts. Uh, and we had some long sh short lists because the quality of the work was so good. This year, the top award of Hong Kong Young Writer of the Year 2021 is shared. It goes to two young authors, both of whom are just fabulous. They are Yu Hei Iris Choi of Heap Yun School and Charlie Lam of ESF Island School. Well done Iris, well done Charlie. Worthy winners both of you. <laughs>